Your mercy, your compassion, O oh Lord, the salvation of our soul, O oh Lord, will bless you, O oh Lord God Jehovah, for your counsel, O oh Lord God Jehovah, for your faithfulness, your kindness, your love upon us, upon our family, upon our household, O oh Lord, will bless you, O oh Lord God Almighty. For this new year, we thank you, Father. For city of David, Stephen H., O Lord God Jehovah, will bless you, O Lord God Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Thanks very much, choir. God bless. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is a new and glorious year. We are welcome to the service this morning. Our online viewers, God bless you. The mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our pastor, Pastor Femi, has declared concerning us in this sanctuary, in this household, that is the year of supernatural abundance. And that is what it will be for you. That is what it will be for your household. That's what it's going to be for me and my household as well, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And the theme for this month has been declared, the power of the world. The power of the word, the word of God. And I'll quickly go into the, the verse that we're holding on to in this month is John chapter 1 and it's verse 1. But I'm going to read to, from verse 1 to verse 3 in the Amplified Version. It says, in the beginning, in the beginning, you know, the Amplified Version, it makes it so, so that we can understand the Bible very well. It says, in the beginning, before the time, that means before the beginning, in the beginning, before the beginning, Christ, the word, the father has always been in existence. Before the word was formed, before Moses, before Abraham, before Elijah, before Hezekiah, before the word was formed in Genesis 1. In the beginning, before all time, was the word, the word Christ. And the word was with God. And the word was God himself. He was continually assisting in the beginning, co-eternally with God. The word Christ, it has been in a, he has, they have been in existence even before the beginning, before the word was formed. When God now said, let us, you know, the word Christ has always been. So when we do, when we Christian comes in and say, I believe in the New Testament, I, I don't know. In the beginning, before Christ has already been, even before the Old Testament, praise the name of the Lord. All things were made and come into existence through him. And without him, not even one thing was made that has come into being. Nothing, nothing, nothing. In him was life, the breath of life. In Christ in the word was life, the breath of life, and the power to bestow life is only God that has the power to bestow life. And the life was light of men. The light shines, the light of God shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not understand it, or overpower it, or appropriate it, or absorb it, and is unreceptive to it. The light of God will shine in our lives in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The light of God will shine through every darkness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The darkness will not be able to comprehend the light of God in your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As I go further down, we will see what the light of God can do. And please, it's going to be a prayer inclusive, inclusive of the sermon. So when you see, when you hear a prayer, please hold on to it and catch it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God, the word of God is powerful. The word of God is living. The word of God is active. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God brings changes into our life. Our time with the word, when we take time this year, if more than anything, as a church, as an individual, as a unit, family unit, please take time 
to get into the word of God. And as we do so, the Lord will grant us understanding in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our time with the word of God, when we surrender our hearts, you know, it's not just I want to go and read the Bible that you are doing this religiously. But when you surrender your hearts and open, surrender your hearts and be open to receive from the Holy Spirit. You know, I heard of a man of God. Every time he preaches is Psalm 24. When you say the theme is abundance, Psalm 24. When you say the theme is partnership, Psalm 24. And people rush out to come and receive deliverance, to come and receive. Because that is the word God has given to him. And he, 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 that is the word that God has given to him. And that is what he will start with. That's what he will end with. He will go into other verses. So, but you see that Psalm 24. That is what he will, do, he will, he will, he will base his end. So what is the word God has given to you in this year? The power of that word that Jehovah has given unto you as an individual. As we've been praying, as we've been holding on to God, as we've been fasting as a church, as an individual. What is the word Jehovah has given to you? Because it's that word that will change you. It's that word that will change things around you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The truth is available. The truth of God's word is available to every heart that is hungry. You have to be hungry for it. There are different versions of the Bible. If you ESV, NIV, NJV, Passion, the, the Passionate, everything. So if you are, oh, there is a version for you. Easy reading Bible, there is for you. You understand? So you can't say you did not understand. But be hungry. And the, the grace to be hungry for God is another prayer point. Father, let me be hungry for you. Let me be hungry. Because the devil is contending. It's only, we all have 24 hours. The God will grant us the grace to be hungry for him, to be passionate for him in the mighty name. Because that is what is going to change us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The truth is available to every heart that is hungry to know God and experience the power of his living. Power of the living word of God. The breathing word of God. The word that is active. The word that is living. The word that is in existence, the most high God will grant unto us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. One of my favorite Psalms is in the, is in the um, sorry I said passion, it's in um, the amplified version. And I just want to read out to you from Psalm 119 verse 1 to 8. He said, how blessed and favorable, how blessed and favored by God are those whose way is blameless. Those with personal integrity, the upright, the clueless, who walk in the law, and who are guilt by the percepts and revealed will of the Lord, blessed and favored by God are those who keep his testimonies, who are consistently seeking him, and long for him with all their hearts. They do no unrighteousness. They walk in his ways. You are ordained. You have ordained your precepts. That is the law of God. You have ordained it. That you may follow him with careful diligence. Or that my way may be established to observe and to keep your statutes. Obediently accepting and honoring them. Then I will not be ashamed when I look res with respect to all your commandments as my guide. I will give thanks to you with an upright heart. When I learn through discipline, it will take discipline this year. The Lord will help us all. It will take discipline this year in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It will take strong discipline and God will grant us grace in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your righteous judgment for my transgression. I will keep your status uh, we're going to keep the status of it because that is what is going to change us this year. That is what is going to change us. Nothing else other than the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Heavenly has change take place when you choose to diligently pursue God through the reading of the word of God. When you pursue God, when you read his word, when you read messages, when you listen to messages, when you read books, you know, I am, um, I know my husband, I, I love reading books. I just love it. You know, I just love reading books. I don't know why. God, God help me. Praise the name of the Lord. But, you know, 
he, 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 the places you haven't been to, books will take you there. The places you haven't been to, books will take you there. You know, it will broaden your horizon, your thinking. You will be objective. That's what books does to you, you know? So, you know, I'm, I'm reading a book. Every time I read it, I drop it. I haven't finished it in years, and I don't know why. And I told my husband, I said, this year, I'm going to finish this book. I'll read other books, though, but this particular one, I haven't been able to, and I don't know why. But there must be a reason. There's something that I need to discover, and the Lord will help us all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So when we read the word of God, when you read Psalm 1 today, it's a different meaning it will give you when you read it three months' time. It will come again fresh with the power of the Holy Spirit. Not because they said we should read Bible now. They said we should read Bible so that you can tick religiously. We're not religious people. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord is dependable. You know, every exchange takes place when we choose to diligently pursue God through the reading of this word. The more we spend time with God, the more we, you know, reading a book and it's it, you know, we come to church and we say relationship and fellowship. They're two different things. Husband and wife, you can go to the altar and have a relationship and come out of the altar. But do they have fellowship? Are they into each other? Do they know everything about each other? That is fellowship. And that is what we want this year, 2021. Fellowship with our God. Because when we come to Christ, it's just like when they call altar call in festival of life. Everybody come. Some even come eating chewing gum. We just come, we all rush to the altar. And that's the end for some people. Please, in this year, 2021, that's not going to be the case. The Lord will help us so. Because the word of God is going to change us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of God is dependable. It says in heaven, it says, forever. I have a very fantastic voice. Oh, Lord, your word is set to in heaven it is set forever forever oh lord your word is set so in heaven it is set so psalm 119 verse 89 to 90. it says forever oh lord your word is settled in heaven your word is standing your word is firm. Your word is unchangeable. Your faithfulness continues from generation to generation. You have established the heart and, you, and it stands securely. The heart is secured. Whether they say the heart is moving and we are moving with it, but the heart is secured by the power of the Most High God. God's word is dependable. You can depend on the word of God. You can rely on the word of God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For some reasons, I don't know why my time has been cut. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God illumin illuminates. Illumination. You know, that John 1 verse 2 to 3. It says... He, the word of God brings light and that light, he enters into every darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. Darkness can, no matter what, no matter what the enemy is doing in this year, the light of God will overshadow us. The light of God will surround us. The light of God will penetrate into our heart, into our understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. As we read the word of God, as we meditate, as we remain sense on the word of God, the light of God will shine forth in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The light of God, the word of God, it brings understanding. It's like a double-edged sword. You know, the word of God will just penetrate when you declare it. This year, declare the word of God. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am created for signs and wonders in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anytime the enemy is coming around and he starts bringing those thoughts, those evil thoughts, because your mind, you will say a lot of, last week pastor said, our mind, our mind, your mind is the battlefield. 
That is where you will think everything you want to think. If you want to sin, you will first of all think it in your mind before you start sin. If you want to abuse someone, you will think it first. If you want, to, so it is your mind that is going to be that battlefield. And immediately, it, everybody, the enemy, brings suggestions. So it's not that the enemy doesn't bring suggestions to people. But when you have that light, when you know that word of God that he brings in, you will say every word that comes against me, that comes against my thoughts, let it, everything, every strong word, you know, because there are some thoughts that the enemy brings. You just imagine that he's in me your daily that is thinking like this. You know, he will just bring to, very devilish demonic thoughts. Don't entertain it in this year, and the Lord will help us all. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just as God commanded light to shine out of darkness in the beginning, God's word also shine light into our hearts and bring transformation. The word of God transformed. Be ye renewed by the word of the mighty God. Let your heart be transformed in this year. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Let our hearts be transformed. The word of God transforms acts. The word of God transforms actions. Look at yourself. Do a, what is it called? Is it an MOT check on yourself? In this year, we still have, this is still the beginning of the year. Do an MOT. Look at your heart. Look at your life. Look at things around you. And say, this year, you know, this year, this is what I want to achieve. There are, I'm going to go back to books. Praise the Lord. There are journals. There was a day we did Sunday school, and I talked about journals. I'm sure most of us, up to now, we still didn't buy the journals. There are journals, five ninety nine, thirty ninety nine, that you need to do, you, so that when you write things, you write it down. This is how I feel today. This is what happened. This is what I want to focus on, on this year. You can go back to it in February and look at it and say, look, did I actually focus on this thing? If I did not, let me go back again and let me go and do it. That's how you make plans for your life. That's, you know, that my bag, when you carry it, is heavy. So many things is inside it. My focus for this year, the project that, you know, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, pastor said something last Sunday and um, he spoke about Tesla. Praise the Lord. Were you here when he spoke about Tesla? Did you hear the news about Tesla? Did you hear the news? Tesla has boomed. Though. Praise the Lord. If you bought the shares, you know that it has boomed. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's how things happened. That's how things happen. The children of um, the Israelites, God has been telling them, I'm taking you to the land full of milk, and only every Israelite heard that word. Because when Moses is going to the tent of meeting, they see him going. They see the glory. They see the Shekinah glory. They hear what the Lord has said. They now took 12 elders. They say, oh yeah, go and look. Everybody heard what God said though, that this land I'm taking you is for land of milk and honey. Every Israelite, everybody. And that is how we hear. They now said, 12 elders, go and check what is happening. Two brought good reports from what everybody has been hearing. These two, 12 leaders, at least they should be matured. It's not bringing anybody down because we all do it, you know, from... But this year, let us look at ourselves. What is the Lord telling you? What is it God has told you to do? What is the word of God for you? It's not the word of God that somebody brought for you and said, this is what the Lord says. I should, my sister, I've been praying about you. I even fasted, you know, and this is what God says. What is he telling you? Are you delay yourself? This year has been declared the year of abundance in our church. But as you as an individual, what is it's that word that is aligning with that word of abundance that you are standing upon? That you are saying, I am the salt of the heart. I am the light of the world. I am a city set upon the hill. What is that word? Abundance, my path, my path in this year 2021 20, is filled with abundance in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is how the word of God illuminates. You know, it starts bringing things. It starts bringing ideas. One, one night I was praying and I was only one hour. It was only one prayer point to and I, 
just one prayer point. Praise the Lord. I was just praying that one prayer point. That was the only thing that was coming. And it was God. Just open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Praise the name of the Lord. And after I finished praying, it was projects that was coming to my will. God was just saying, this is what you need to do about this. This is what you need to do about this. And that's how God is. You are praying one thing. You know, it's not that he's not here answering you. But he started bringing different projects that I need to do. Different ideas that I need to do. Did I write it down? No, but it's in my head. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's how we do. You know, I can still remember some of them. But it was so vivid that night that, you know, I could just jump. And, you know, but, you know this weather is very cold. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So the word of God illuminates. He brings things, you know. Your mind just open. It's just like you have wings that you can fly. When the word of God comes, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God gives light to the path before us. So we know every step to take. The light of God brings definition of what we experience with our eyes and we process what we are feeling in our hearts. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 36 verse 9. Psalm 36 verse 9 in the Amplified Version. Psalm 36 verse 9. If you are dead, technical, help me. If not, I'm there. It says, For with you is the fountain of life, the fountain of living, giving water. In your light will see light. In the light of God, you see light. Psalm 119, verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Your word, O oh Lord, your word is a light unto my feet and a light unto my path your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path nothing will affect as long as you are near be right there with me to the end your word is a light unto my feet and a light unto my path that's the word of the lord praise the lord sorry praise the lord you can come praise the lord i'm about to finish in ephesians 5 8 says for once you were in darkness for once you were in darkness but now you had the light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Walk as children of light. Live as those who are native born to the light. Walk as children of light. When you get into the office, let them know that there is a light in you. When you get to the supermarket, let the light know. You know, I've been recently have been doing a lot of walking, and I just discovered, you know, I just discovered that I don't have patience. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So when I'm walking, you know, when I'm walking, and you know, where, where everybody's avoiding every other person, and people are coming my way, you know, and I move, and they don't move, and I stand like this. As in, I just discovered that, and I said, Are you really? You know, praise the name of the Lord. I just discovered that. I, you know, it, it just, so I said, So I don't have patience this much. So every time I'm, going for a walk and I say, God, please help me. You know, and I understand like, I say, God, really? You know, so there's some things that, that you just discover. But let us begin to look inward. Because I see myself as a very patient person. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God is living and active. The word of God, it reaches into the deepest places of our hearts. The word of God brings wisdom, it brings insight, it brings understanding, it makes us to begin to blossom and overflow into our life. The word of God, you know, when you start reading it, when you start reading, when you start digesting it, when you start breaking forth, you know, you start reaching dimensions in the spirit that you will know that, hmm, this is not my power, but it's God. It God opened your eyes to see you. 
Praise the name of the Lord. It's Proverbs chapter 2, verse 1 to this. It says, My son, if you will receive my word and treasure my commandments within you, so that your ear is attentive to skillfully and godly wisdom, if you would receive my word and apply your heart to the understanding, if you will cry out for insight and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek skillfully and godly wisdom as you would silver and search for her as you would hidden treasures, is there hidden treasures inside this word of God? Search for it in this year 2021. The Lord will grant us grace. He will give us in that 24 hours. He will make it 28 for us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is redeeming time. So that the time you're spending in the kitchen, going up and down, everything, the Lord will redeem it for you. You will get another recipe that you can do fast, fast. The time you spend in the toilet, the time you spend gisting on the phone, the most high God, he will reduce it for you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, for the Lord gives skillful and godly wisdom. For his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He stores away sound wisdom for the righteous, those who are in right standing with him. He is a shield to those who work in integrity, those of honorable character and moral judge. He guards the paths of justice and he preserves the way of his saints, we believers. The last one, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. He says, I always pray that the word of our God Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may grant you a spirit of wisdom. This is wisdom that has been dished out this morning, that he will grant unto us the spirit of wisdom and of, re of revelation that gives us a deep, a deep and personal and intimate insight into the true knowledge of him. For we know the Father through the Son. As the word of God is being speak, spoken into our lives, it will germinate, it would expand, it will bring healing, it will bring deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus, it will bring change, it will bring character change, it will bring insight, it will bring wisdom unto us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto